it might take you by surprise. What just happened there in the elevator? I just dodged some sort of robot. And without a doubt, you'll have questions. And more importantly, what is it? It's Dash the robot. Uh, it's a uh, friendly robot that can take items to your room. You see, the front desk here at the Crown Plaza gets requests for all sorts of things. Toothbrushes to toothpaste, uh, towels. Someone has to stop what they're doing to bring it upstairs. Unless that someone is a robot. Now, Dash comes from a famous family. His parents and grandparents are the big PR2 robots used in research and occasionally viral videos. But what the PR2 can't do is carry french fries to your room without somebody in the elevator taking them, right? This one with its locking bin actually can do that. Dash doesn't have hands and doesn't need them to call the elevator. The robot can talk to it using robot telepathy, which is also called Wi-Fi. Dash is built to be approachable and friendly. In fact, if you notice a resemblance to one of the most famous robots ever, that's not an accident. Remind you of anybody or anything? Something out of a science fiction show? Maybe an R2-D2? You know, we did take a lot of inspiration from R2-D2, both in the size of it, which somehow George Lucas really got the size right, and also in kind of the, the friendly noises. Dash is built for safety, scanning the ground for obstacles and dodging them to get to your room. A phone call tells you the robot's arrived, but Dash won't open his door until you open yours. After you grab that toothbrush, it hangs out for another seven or eight seconds before it leaves, and that's selfie time. Expect a social media explosion. Robot selfies are a thing? <laughs> Robot selfies are definitely a thing. Yeah!